Hello and welcome to the video. I'm going to have maybe a, a 10 minute brief explanation of this video in a sense. Basically, I, if people want a full like basis tutorial on Katana, like a breakdown of the character, let me know in the comment section. Uh, so I'll make one. Okay? I don't have a problem with making one, I just don't want to make one and then people don't request it if you see what I'm saying. So yeah. Besides that, I want to thank everyone for watching the video yesterday. The two videos. One has like 150 views and the other has like 1,300, which is absolutely staggering for my channel. And I've got more than double my subscribers in one day. So thanks very much. That's really cool. This is just for the people who requested the inputs from yesterday's video. So basically this video is going to be yesterday's video, but with the inputs and my brief explanation at the beginning essentially. I want to apologize for the noise on my PS4 and my sick voice, but besides that, uh, yeah, my microphone is not that good. Anyways, <laughs> let's begin. I'm going to give like two or three minutes just to show her basics and then you have your combos. If you want to fast forward to the combos to shut me up, then that's all good. Don't worry about it. Right, so to start off, this is the best for all of her combos, in my opinion. You can go into uh, the fan if it connects, you can go into this if you want chip damage or just a combo, and you can go in for the overhead. The overhead is a crushing blow. Like I said, I'm not going into all of this unless I get an actual breakdown video if people want it, because there's no point in me explaining all of this for nothing. But yeah, her crushing blow only works if your opponent blocks all of the attacks except the overhead. It does 28% damage altogether, including its bleed damage, so that's good. Right. Best combo starter, in my opinion. Uh, if I'm sure people will probably ask because the whole oh shit, I did that wrong. Because her fan got nerfed, and you can no longer do the you know that overhead into the fan, and then push in and do a combo, unless you're in the corner. But still, it's essentially bad. So people are probably going to ask what to do to fit in for that. Now, if you're not that good, you can always just go for, or if you're just learning, you can always go for that. It's not the crushing blow, I'm just kind of showing the crushing blow. You can also go for the double uh, punch, which you've probably seen me do in the video. It's a bit harder to do, but it ultimately gives you a better reward. Like, you generally get more damage and it pushes your opponent further back. So, to do that, it's hard to explain, but let's picture this bell here. The bottom of that bell is where Katana's feet essentially have to be, or near, before you do the attack. If you do it too early, you'll see what happens. Watch. See what I mean? You don't hit first off. If you do it mid, you might hit but you won't get to connect some. See what I mean? You won't connect. If you do it at the right time, you can connect the second jump. I'll show you. See what I mean? That was a bit off time, but then the second hop has to be instantly attacked. So jump hit. So it goes something like this. This is only if you're used to katana though. Because oh, I'm not used to katana. <laughs> right, I'll show you. See? And into a crushing blow if you want. Uh, this is her best safe punish. It's an A-frame star. Best thing to go for. If you're comfortable with punishing and you know you're going to punish the opponent, do this one. The reason for it is again, it has a crushing blow. If you finish the combo, it does 30% damage. If not, you will go into the same combo you might do normally, but it will ultimately do more damage than this one. So if you're safe, if you if you're confident, as I should say, which you're punishing, and you know you're going to punish with the attack, do this attack. Right, <clears throat> last thing is, well, one of the last things, this would not advise it for combos. Or doing the double traditional overhead like MKX, never works for me. Like, I'll show you. It doesn't connect to the combo, that combo says 4 hits, even though it should be 6. So I don't recommend that. I recommend that for staying out of the air, or staying in the air, ducking low projectiles, ducking medium, and even try to duck high. She can throw the fans after this, so you can punish people who throw something at you. Uh, people don't seem to realize, but she can do her specials in the air, which basically means, like, not in the air, but on her short hops, which means you can do her instant air fans, like the old game. So. Well, MKX. It's hard, there's a bit of timing to it. See what I mean? But if you get the timing, you can go like this. You can control the screen, you yeah? She has it. This goes the same for, as I said, this and the ass slap. So I'd recommend learning that. 
Learn that she has the two the two overheads. This is the second overhead. It's a uh, four with two, three four. Okay. And as I said, the other overhead is the crushing blow. That's it. Her best low is probably one two down two. If you want to try it. But that's basically it for the basics of Katana, because I don't want to go over it much in this video. I just want to show the inputs more so. So uh, also, I'm adding two combos to this video. So from what I believe, I have the highest katana combo, tournament legal, in the sense. But I've beaten that. I think I've got like 56.4 or something. So I'm going to put that in the video. I've also got a 54, a new one. So I'm going to show that in the video, if anyone's interested in learning it. So yeah, thanks anyways for watching, and I hope this helps.